Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a video all about my top tips on how to have an organized home. I've made quite a few videos like this in the past, but more to do with how to be an organized mum. But today I wanted to focus on the tips and things that we do that make me feel organized at home home because I've said it before that I'm not the most like naturally organized person it's something that I do have to work at but having habits is key because I feel like once something becomes a habit it feels more effortless and you kind of do it on autopilot so in this video I'm going to show you like some systems and some routines that I do at home that make me feel that bit more organized because there's nothing worse than like taking the time, having a massive like declutter and getting organized at home only to go back to your old ways. I hope you really like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, I would love you to subscribe for more content like this. And with all that said, let's get into the tips. So my first tip sounds very obvious, but it's such an important one. And it is to make lists and write everything down because you cannot remember everything. Well, I definitely cannot be trusted with all the information that I need to remember for my family. So write it all down in a way that suits you. So personally, I like to write down home projects and cleaning projects on a physical pad of paper because there's something so satisfying about ticking them off. But then when it comes to anything to do with work or presents I need to get or things I need to buy from the shops, I really like to keep it all on an app on my phone. There's an app that's free called Google Keep and there's also one called Evernote and they're just great. You can just add different lists and have it all like organized there. But then say for my husband, Matt, he actually keeps a long list in the notes on his phone. He he does it by day and then anything he doesn't get done one day he'll just move it on to the next day and it works really well for him and my next tip is to use any dead time that you have so you may have noticed in my morning routine when I come downstairs and I'm waiting for the kettle to boil that is when I will empty the dishwasher and same with when I'm cooking I try to have no dead time at all so if something's in a frying pan or something's in the oven I will use that time to put dishes away and wipe down surfaces and even now that the boys are older if they're ever like happily playing in the bath I'll use that time to quickly wipe down the bathroom and also wipe down like the bathroom floor especially if they splash water out of the bath I'm like I'm gonna use this opportunity to actually clean the floor and it just saves me time in the long run every single book I've ever read about organization like Marie Kondo or the home edit says that everything needs to have a home or it's gonna live where you don't want it to be like on your surfaces or on your floor or on the chair do a recce of your house, literally walk through it, look at the areas that just are not working in terms of storage and organization, and then get the storage to fix it. You can get some amazing storage nowadays. Like there's even a website called A Place for Everything. So I wanted to show you a few areas in our home where I've recently got better storage solutions. So as you walk into our house, we used to have two small baskets for shoes, and it just was not enough for our family of five. So recently, Recently, I ordered these much larger baskets that still fit under our side unit from La Redoute and they just fit all of the family's shoes. You can also find things much easier and I'm finding that the kids are actually using them more. We also had a problem with our water bottles and I found this specific water bottle storage on Amazon. I also love drawer dividers in our junk drawer and our kids clothing drawers as well. I just feel like they make things look so much more organized. And I also love a Lazy Susan. I use this for my skincare. I also use these in our kitchen cupboards. It's a great way to be able to see everything you have at the back of the cupboard. And I also love our pantry storage. I've shown these before, but I just feel like everything in terms of baking and like pantry ingredients is all very organized on the shelf and it's just so quick and easy to find things. My next tip is to have a dumping station when you walk into the house but then also don't create dumping stations anywhere else. So what I mean by that is when you walk in the front door you do need to have an area where you and the kids can drop your handbag, your shoes, your hats, your coats and everything. So really think about that area when you walk in the house like you can really 
really utilize things like under the stairs storage for coats and you can have a basket for hats and a basket for gloves and shoes as I say. That is really important because otherwise as soon as you walk in the door things are going to just be chucked onto couches and stairs and where you don't want them. But then also in this tip I wanted to say to avoid dumping stations anywhere else in the house. Any flat surface or counter space or desk space just attracts stuff doesn't it? People just want to dump stuff onto it. So what I do to stop people from doing that is to put something like a flower arrangement or an ornament and it just like puts people off that bit more. If there's a nice flower arrangement in the middle it makes it more difficult for people to dump stuff on it. And my next tip is to make your bed and I know that sounds really obvious but in the way that clear counter space can make your whole kitchen look so clean, a made bed can instantly transform your bedroom. And there's actually a book called Make Your Bed, it's by a Navy SEAL and I've read it and it's so interesting. It's about how the simple discipline of waking up and making your bed can actually set you up for a good day and it can be really powerful. So it's a great habit to get into and it also makes everything look nice and tidy and it's something that I also make my kids do without fail. I feel like it's just such a good habit to get into. And my next tip, I know I've talked about it before, but it honestly makes our household feel so much more organized when we meal plan. If you've never tried meal planning before, I promise if you try it for a week, you will save time, money, and calories as well. And it's just so nice knowing what you're doing for dinner and having everything in. So on a Sunday, we sit down, we talk about what we wanna have for the next week, we order our online shop and it comes on Monday and we're like ready to go. We've also done this service where we pay £60 to have unlimited delivery like all year. You can have as many as you want. We still tend to just get one delivery a week and I really like getting that like early morning slot. So I think we do like 7.30 to 9.30. The food arrives, we put it away. We do it all on an app. So it's great if Matt or I notice that something is running out, we can just quickly go on and add it to the app and because we online shop it also remembers what we have as regulars so it's very easy to add things in and I just feel like we rarely run out of anything and just feel super organized so I know I've said it before meal plan and online shop such a game changer and my next tip is to declutter and to be constantly editing your belongings so as much as a big declutter is really helpful and I definitely do that also really think about the things that come into your home and if you want to keep them and if you want to have to find a place for them. I shared on my Instagram that I'm actually quite brutal when it comes to the boys artwork. They love coloring but if it's literally just like a squiggle on a page I will actually recycle it. If it's good I'll take a picture of it and then maybe recycle it and it's only like the really really good stuff that makes it into their memory box. I just can't imagine that the boys when they leave home in their 20s are they gonna want me to give them this huge pile of like artwork that they did when they were like four or five. I just don't think that they will. Something else that makes me feel super organized is to have a refresh every single night and what I mean by that is to just spend 10 20 minutes tidying and cleaning up before you sit down. I've said before on this channel like don't sit down until you've done everything that you want to do because as soon as I sit on the couch I am not getting up for anything. So I just want to wipe down the surfaces, tidy up, get everything ready for the next day and you can get the kids to help you with this as well. It's just so nice to come down in the morning to a pretty clean and tidy home. I feel like it sets me up for a good day and it doesn't take that long. Like sometimes when I'm doing it I'll just put my ear pods in and listen to something or Matt and I also sometimes do it together and like catch up on our days. And my next tip leads on nicely from the last one and it is to have a good morning and evening cleaning routine and I don't mean that you have to do loads of cleaning in the morning and in the evening but I just like to have certain tasks that I do at each time. So say in the evening I always put the dishwasher on last thing and then first thing when I wake up in the morning that is when I put it away and also in the morning I'll always put on a load of laundry then tumble dry it in the day and then put it away in the evening and by making it part of your routine as I said it becomes a habit and it doesn't feel so heavy. So I'll link our morning cleaning
cleaning routine and evening cleaning routine in the description because I have actually made those videos. But it's nice to have those kind of systems and routines in place. And my last tip that I wanted to share with you is just something that really works for me and it is to have like a command center in the home. So ours is actually on the side of our fridge. I have a diary for all of the kids stuff. That's also where I put our meal plan and then also there's space for lists as well. And then if we ever get any party invitations or things to remember for the school, I'll add it there as well. So it's kind of like the hub of the home where I go and I'm like, right, what's going on today? What's for dinner? Who's got what club? Where is everyone going? Have we got any appointments? Like, But those are all the tips that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please leave any tips that you have in the comments down below on how you keep a super organized home because I would love to hear them. And yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.